I was extremely disgusted. Just the fact that it still happens. It's always happened um, in our communities, both here and in the USA. If it's exactly the same, then it tells you how long it takes for change to happen. Three generations of activists, each responding to a moment which has driven millions to action. George Floyd's death has inspired a chain reaction of protest that has swept the globe. And here in Britain, George Floyd's death has shone a light on our own battle with racial inequality. Aram Kiakia is a 20-year-old student who supports the Black Lives Matter campaign. She's been peacefully protesting. It is something that needs to be spoken about, which is why I am glad that what's happening in America has allowed for us to start talking about racism in Britain. If you're black in Britain today, you're more likely to be poor, to be the victims of crime and to be stopped by the police. Sace Holmes Lewis mentors and coaches young people. His own experiences of racism is why he's demanding action. I've been stopped over 30 times since the age of 14. I was assaulted by a police officer going home from school, um, handcuffed, um, hit with a truncheon, dragged up the stairs in handcuffs at the age of 14, um, and a very traumatic experience. The traumas aren't just individual, though. They're collective and historical. This is Brixton in 1981, when the relationship between London's black community and the police fractured. Streets burned. The Brixton riots are perhaps the most famous in Britain's recent history, which focused on the distrust between the police and Britain's black communities. The riots may have taken place 39 years ago, but people still ask, has enough changed? Author and playwright Bonnie Greer is American and British. She was also protesting against racism in the 1960s. Despite the differences in Britain and America's racial histories, she's hoping this moment is a true springboard for change. It is not the United States, and it is a lot of the colonial gesture. People of color are permitted. That's what I mean by the colonial gesture. They give us permission. And we have to decide whether we accept the permission, acknowledge the permission, or we go forward. From football teams taking the knee to gathered crowds and raised fists, George Floyd's death has inspired action. Campaigners want it to affect change. Warren Nettleford, 5 News.